Chris Taylor. How are Hello. you, my friend? I'm hey. so good. How are you doing? I'm great now that I get a chance to chat with you today. Same. The highlight of my day. Chris, Chris, Chris. <laughs> I am so happy that you said yes to this interview. We at the School of Social Work, we're, we're highlighting social workers because it's Social Work Month. March is our month. Yes. 31 days of just cheering on our incredible profession and our incredible social workers. And you're one of them. So Chris, thanks again. We're gonna be sharing this on all our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, you name it. We are gonna put it out there because we need to celebrate you and all social workers. So we're gonna ask you a couple of questions. And okay. one of the questions is going, well, before that, you actually hit all of those gamuts. You're an alum, you're I a am. faculty, uh, and you're a community advocate. And I mean, you're, you're everywhere. My goodness. So what are you currently doing as a social worker? And what do you feel is the most valuable thing you've learned as a social worker? Great. Uh, well, thank you, Rod, uh, asking me to do this. I really appreciate it. It's um, anytime I get to talk about my job and what I'm doing, I get really excited. So thanks for highlighting um, all of us out here doing the work. Um, so I am currently a lecturer in the School of Social Work. And that feels, yeah, it feels like a full circle moment because I am an alum. I, I got my MSW from UNC Charlotte in 2009. So shout out to the best class ever, 2009. <laughs> whoa, and whoa, I, you might have set some <laughs> alum up there. Everybody's they're okay. To be the best. It's okay, I have faith in my class. I have faith in my class. Um, but we are currently teaching uh, a couple different courses. I'm also involved in field. So I'm working on placing students for next year, which is really exciting. Um, and then uh, in the community, I have a podcast called Spark Sessions Podcast, where this year, uh, this season specifically, we're highlighting social workers. So those are kind of the things that I'm working on. Um, and just really excited to be teaching. I love it so much. And um, what is it that I find to be the most valuable about being a social worker? That's the next question. So I've been thinking about this uh, for a little bit, and I, I think there are two things, and so I can't narrow it down, but it's two things, and it's our focus on the importance of human relationships and how all of the work that we do, no matter what level we do it on, it, the basis and center is the human relationship, and I think that's really special and unique to social work. And second to that, um, or equal to that, is our focus on social justice and how our code of ethics call us, no matter what we do, whether we're one on, you know, face-to-face -face clinicians or, or case managers, or we're working on a macro level, it doesn't matter. We're still called to, um, to take part in advocacy and activism around issues of social justice. And I find that to be very special. Yes, yes, yes. And we appreciate what you're doing in the classroom setting not only as one of our fabulous faculty, but the impact you're having on students every day they in interact with you is just, it's valuable. It's priceless. And plus the work that you've done in the community as well. You've worn a number of hats in the community as a social worker. I remember yeah. when you were, um, uh, you were at Pat's Place Advocacy mm -hmm. Center yeah. and oh my goodness, um, Leadership Charlotte. I mean, yeah. look, at, look at all these different roles that you, were a part of as a social worker. Fabulous, fabulous. We're gonna plug that that podcast. What's what's the podcast again? So we're uh, Spark Sessions Podcast. You can find us on Instagram at Spark Sessions Podcast, on Twitter at Spark Sessions Pod, I think, and then on Facebook as well. So yes, we'd love to have anyone and everyone join and listen in. Um, we really like to highlight people who are actually doing the work and making a change in the community. And like I said, during season two, we are highlighting social workers. So. Yes, it's yes, it's yes. really exciting. Awesome. Great. So yeah. we're going to have fun, you know. I like to have each fun. Other for, and I like to have fun too. So we're going <laughs> to have fun together. And yeah. I made up this cool little game called Fab Five in Five Seconds. So you're going to okay. name your favorite five things in five seconds. On my go, are okay. you ready? I'm ready. Set? Yep. Go. Go. My family, specifically my nephews and my niece, my dog Lola. College basketball, go heels. Sorry, Roger. Uh, Diet Coke and traveling. All right, excellent. And I'm gonna let you slide on the on the go heels part. And if you know me, you know I'm a Duke fan, and we, you know, we 
We go head to head, but hey. We go head to head, but it's okay. Right? It's the robbery. It's the best robbery so, in sport. That's right. The best robbery in sport ever. So Chris, thank you so much for joining us. I know you're busy doing a lot of stuff. The fact that you just said yes to spending a few minutes with us so we can get to know you, so we can highlight you and we can shout you out to everybody out on social media. We appreciate that. We thank you for your work as a social worker. And we just want to say happy social work month to you and to all the social workers out there. Happy social work month to you, Roger. It's an honor to do this work alongside people like you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too.